Hey, welcome back, everybody. We're on to phase three. This is Alon Paul. We're going to do, uh, yeah, phase three. We're in the Blighted Expedition, so uh, we're going to be dealing with pirates. We're going to be dealing with uh, getting done with a few extra parts of the expedition today. Like, uh, for instance, in my last episode, we did finish out phase one, and you may be thinking, wow, it took two episodes to get through phase one. Yeah, sort of, because we had a lot of preparation to do, too, throughout the episodes. But keeping in mind that we got nearly the entire Phase 2 done, we've gotten a couple of Phase 4 done, and even a part of Phase 5 done. So we're really, we're moving along here. We only need a couple more pirates to finish out another one on this one. So we're moving along really quickly here. So we're going to go ahead and get to the uh, locate and investigate the Lost Freighter, which will only take a couple moments. Um, why is everything shaking? Oh, I gotta check this out. What going on? Thought I saw a worm pass over earlier. No? Alright. Well, let's look at some of these biological entities. Eleven on this planet, so I don't think we're gonna find them all. Good grief. Four within a couple spots. And we got a storm rolling through. There we go. Nothing like zooming in on something to find it. And I think, oh, no, there's another one over here. All right, I got to look. This is why I don't get a lot of things done immediately, because I have to investigate everything. Oh, did he move? Yep, there he is. Oh, it's right there. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. That's 6 of 11. You know, it really doesn't count for much right now. Because I don't think we're going to find all of them. There we go. Sorry, that one uh, required a little bit extra attention there. There's another one. Holy mackerel. I'll be darned. Eight. We only have three more to go. No so flying creatures is there. You know, all we have to do is jump over here, check out discoveries, and see. Uh, flying. Underground and underground. And the two underground ones are going to be a real pain in the neck. Alright, where's my ship? Hello, ship. Well, we're going to be on the planet for a few extra minutes. So let's head to... The freighter. Yeah. Okay, so it's right over there. There you go. How far away? All right, so sit back and hold on. We're going to take about five or six hours to get there. No, I'm just kidding. What is that? Um. Huh. Fascinating. Someone was building something. Oh, you know what they're probably doing? We now have multiplayer turned on. I'll bet you somebody's setting up a landing platform here. And it's giving everybody access to it as a much easier... Now oh, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, very nice of them. Alright. Oh, it's on another planet. Well, crud. Alright. We'll go ahead and go. And of course it's that far away. Okay, hyperdrive we don't have to worry about. Landing thrusters will charge. Uh, pulse engines, let's put a little extra in there. Okay. Anomaly detected. Didn't I already talk to you? Let's just see. Yep. 
Well, it's a pleasure talking to you two. Moving on. Okay. That was interesting. I, I've, I ran into that thing three times now. Between my last expedition that I was doing on another save and this one. I'm running into it twice on this one now. So, very odd to run into the same exact sentient life in space. So, yeah, that's kind of odd. Alright, here we go. So this is the Verdant Planet, so it should be a little bit easier going. Now, of course, we have no idea what the creatures are like down here. Let's see. Oh, I bet you anything. Okay, we're looking for a lost freighter, so we're looking for something that has crashed. Big, huge monstrosity. I want to say it was over to the right over here. Yeah, we're working on it. Hmm. I know it's here someplace. for it, aren't you? It should be right here. It, it, it's hiding it. Alright. I guess we're going to have to just do the Jason thing and land and look for it. Yeah, I called it the Jason thing. Okay. I give up. We'll take a look. Painfully hot rain, huh? Yep, supposedly it's over this way. Hey, there's some oxygen there. I could use some. There we go. Like I said, nice easy uh, place to stay. Shouldn't be too much going on here, right? And it proves me wrong. Go ahead and get all these biological entities. Wow. Okay. Busy planet. Anybody flying? Yes. You know what's good about this, though? Is your... Jetpack lasts a little bit longer in this kind of atmosphere. Looks like we got a save beacon right there, but it's not that's not it. Too far away. Because I messed up. 518. We're 
going to take some of this because it's always useful. Okay. We should be able to see it by now. But with this, that looks like it. There we go. We'll just use that. Oh, hello. Let's go around. There we go. Okay. Um, that's really strange. Huh. You kidding me? This thing's buried? There we go. Blow the ship. All right, good deal. Ah, uh, police select option. Uh, well, let's go ahead and contact the fleet. Redacted, connecting, no response. Coding from last note. Recordings of redacted. Coordinates indicate location below sea level. Access the logs. It's hopeless. We can't have maneuver room. How are they jumping between systems so quickly? I've gone over the calculations three times now. It is just not physically possible. There is no warping away. Our mission has ended in failure. Redacted. Left in search of the last. Redacted. But I have seen what is what this blight is capable of. I cannot hope for the success. I am so sorry. Redacted. If you survive to find this, look for our piece of the redacted. If still intact, cargo hold, their secret, good, blah, 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 and blah. Okay. So, if anyone's familiar with these cargo vessels, there's always containers. And we're going to get all of them real quick, because they always contain decent technology or parts, but they always get the first thing here, which is going to be the map fragment. So we got map fragment number two, and there we've completed the milestone. We'll collect that in just a second. Dee -dee -dee. Now we may only get nanites, but usually we get some decent crap out of these things. Gra gra, fantastic. Oh, hello. Oh, you're a pain in the neck. Let's see what Gra Gra is. Oh, I forgot I had all these banned things on me I gotta get rid of. Alright, I'm gonna put this... I can't put it in my starship, it's too far away. Okay, yeah, we're running out of room fast. Uh, let's see. Alright, we can get this one. Okay. Salvage data. How oh, nice. Alright. Exosuit expansion. There we go. How much is this worth? Hmm, not bad. Highly profitable regulated space. Okay, good. Alright, looks like we got four more spots available. Okay. So, we always got another one here by these panels. Just clear out the stuff. Well, I was supposed to pull out my mining beam. Sorry about that. And there's your cargo pod. A lot of people just dig from underneath. I like to go through the top. More rah-rah. 
Yeah, okay. Another cargo pod right here. There's one more after this, and then we're done. Ragra again. How weird. That's never happened before. Maybe that's something they changed? Oops, hello. Okay, so from this panel here, that panel there, your cargo pod is straight out this way. Just clear out until you find it. There it is. And... What do you think? Gra-gra again? Well, hot ice this time, huh? Hot ice is worth quite a bit. I'll take it. All right. Off to the space station. And then we'll claim our reward, and we'll go on to our next... We have to visit a green star system. Okay. There we go. All right. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. Because we do have uh, banned items in our possession, see? And we'd have to give them all up. Uh, no. Bye. So, we got one ship that's trying to attack us. We're going to see if we can't go a little bit quicker here. At some point, we should be able to engage our warp drive and escape. Oh, that's my uh, wingman. We're just going to keep going. Had to teach somebody else this the other day. They panicked and kept fighting and kept getting more fighters and realized that they were losing and were never going to get away from it all. And I just said, just head away. Because sooner or later, they will back off enough that you can get going. All right. If they come back one more time and hit us, then we will turn and fight. All right, fighting it is. My own wingman jumped in front of me. Ah, get off me. So this is the way we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to fight our way. Huh. That's interesting. And they have pretty strong weapons if you don't have really good shields. Just a heads up on that. Looks like we escaped completely. Okay, good. I haven't had that happen before. Ah, crap. Come on. This is going to be a tough fight, folks. Down. Uh, how many? 
many we got. I'll have to recharge my shields here in a minute. That's what I thought. These are tough sons of guns. <laughs> uh, I think we might have done it. It's right before the main ship arrives. All right, we got this. Oof, that was tough. All right, we made it. All right, we gotta get rid of this cargo. <laughs> All right. So, do we want to wait for another ship? Nah. I apologize. I might wreck the economy here. I'm hoping not to, but let's get rid of this stuff. All right, we got hot ice. Let's get rid of that. Okay, gra gra. First spawn relics gone. Stolen DNA, banned weapons. Let's get rid of the salvage data and the gek relic too. We're up to twelve and a half million. Imagine. What's in the exos? What's in the starship right now? Uh, we'll keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Uh, I think we can get rid of these computer cores. And the microprocessors. We'll hang on to the wiring looms. All right. Not that much silver to even worry about. Oh, get some salvage glass over there. How did that get over there? Huh? Look at that. Great. Uh, hold on. There it is. Okay. There we go. We can get rid of that. Put that in my other inventory. Anything else we want to sell out of here? One or three, two or three. That's the one of three. Two or three. Put that down there. We got some batteries. Okay. All right. We're good shape. Let's go upgrade my exosuit real quick. Oh, wait, while we're here. Wrong one. Let's collect the reward. So we got a normal on chamber and the blueprints for each of these. So that's good. So that'll help us in the third phase. Uh, we'll need a solar mirror. We got the three crystal sulfides, as you can see. We'll need a solar mirror, though, for that. Okay, Nautilons, brief submarine drive, high power sonar plans. Okay. Uh, let's see if they have it here. No? No solar mirrors? Okay. Now, sometimes a pilot may sell it. And I think we just missed one of the pilots. But We'll get to the next system. We'll worry about solar mirrors there. If we have to, we'll pull in the anomaly and learn the, uh, learn the uh, recipe for it so we can build it ourselves. All right. So we got this all kind of fixed up a little bit. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, I'll go ahead and put it there. Okay. Uh, I would love to upgrade my shield on my ship. I don't know if we have shield technology here. Let's find out. Hey, we do. Excellent. We got a photon cannon module. You know what? I think I'll grab it. Uh, we're really low on nanites, though. Oh, we can sell some, though. That's right. I forgot. My bad. Uh, humble try shield. So we'll put this up here. That'll help us in our battles in the future. Uh, nope, exosuit. We're in the right place. Cannon. Hold off on it. There we go. Yeah, we need really need to upgrade this ship get some more space on there but that should give our potential damage a little bit higher but it's not by much hmm. what 
is it 55 30 yeah it's not a lot of damage but it is what it is okay let's move on let's check out some of these ships real fast hey buddy you have any solar mirrors I swear I'm not selling girls Girl Scout cookies here okay yeah okay let's go to this guy he's got a fighter maybe he'll have solar mirrors Uh, nope. Uh, let's go over here. That's me. Where'd the other guy go? There he is. Hi there. Solar mirrors? Anybody? No? Thank you. Let's go to the guy with the big uh, honking explorer ship. Chromatic metal. We could use a little extra. Tritium. I don't need any of that. Okay. Last guy. We'll check him and we'll get out of here if we don't have any. Okay, come on. What do you got? Hey, we got solar mirrors. Let's just get three. Thanks, man. You were a lifesaver. I'm glad I stuck around. All right. So now we can build the transport module. Now, is that on my starship? Nope, that wasn't on the starship. That's definitely in the other unit. Okay, good, good. So we've got what we need here to get everything. Let's go ahead and get out of here. So, where are we headed? We've got to visit a green star. So we're going to jump on our freighter, I think. So we're going to call it in as soon as we escape. go and let's see what we can do about upgrading our freighter to get to the green star system now we could upgrade our fighter but you know what I think we're good with having it get the upgrade instead all right what do we got here frigate fleet warp drive upgrade all right So what we have is we have Amplified, we need Chromatic, which is going to require Emerald. Hmm. Which I think we can only get from a green star system. So how does that going to work? Did we get Emerald? No, we never got Emerald. Huh. Okay, let's take a look at things here, well, shall we? We can't, we don't have any warp technology we can acquire. We have no way to get emerald. Unless we go to a green star system. Okay. So, what are we going to do here? i got to think about this. This is very puzzling. Huh. Okay. Um, so we didn't get the plans for it. Let's check out the... Everything we've got here. Nothing gives us the plans for that. So should we just go to the third rendezvous? Let's take a look. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at something here. We're going to go ahead and go to warp. And I want to take a look at where we're headed. Okay. There's a star here. And a circle. That means I've visited this system before. Huh. 
Oh, of course I have. But in order to go to a green star system, we need emerald. To get emerald, we got to go to a system that has emerald in it. Okay, let's do something here. I got an idea. Uh, here, we're going to go to our catalog. Materials. We're going to look for emerald. Here we go. Okay. Okay, good. Let's see what we can do here. So now we're going to go to the warp drive and it's going to show us a system that has emerald. Which is that system right there. But it requires me to have a chromatic warp shield which cannot be built without emerald. Okay, so I think the only solution here is to sell this and go to the anomaly. Let's go to the anomaly. I got an idea. I'm going to have to upgrade my starship, which does not have enough room for this, so I may have to do something special. Okay, here we go. So, a little bit of thinking outside the box here, folks. So we're going to get the plans to build an Emerald Drive for my fighter. Go to the Green Star System, should get the achievement we want. Gather up enough Emerald to build it on my freighter, if we need to. So let's see what happens. Of course, park me as far away as you can. Is there any reason, honey, you had to park in the furthest space from the store? I can't help it, honey. I could stop by the Quicksilver Exchange and get a ship that already has it. Now that would be interesting now, wouldn't it? So what are we going to Ares for? Because Ares sells upgrades. We don't need those upgrades, but what we do need to do is sell what we've got. So we'll get, that gives us 600, that should give us enough, but I'm just going to make sure he doesn't give me any other. Okay, give me another 250, so that's good. That should get me what I need with no problems. Okay, so we've got to go to Starship Upgrades. Okay, so what we're looking for is in here. So this Emerald Drive requires Cadmium, not Emerald. So that's the weird part about this. So let's go ahead and get these. Oh, no, no, don't kick me out. Ugh, that's annoying. I'm going to get the Emerald Drive, and we might as well get the Indium Drive, because if we can get some Emerald, and we build an Indium Drive, our, sh our, our fighter will go anywhere, and we only need the one drive on board then. Okay, so we should have... Okay. So we're going to build the drive that will get us to a green star system, which is this one. But we have to have Cadmium, which I should have someplace. Let's go find it. I could have swore I had it on my ship, but you know what? I think it's on the freighter. That's right. Never took it off the freighter. All right, here we go. Uh, so far to walk. And we're on our way. Well, this is annoying. And off to the freighter, which is nearly parked inside the space station. And the very, very obnoxiously loud doors. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. 
So I'm going to see about building, not that one, but this one. You see, I have cadmium now. I can't build this one because I don't have any emerald, but I'm going to build this one. So we've got it now. All right, so we can, so in the fighter, we can now go where we need to go. Weirdest thing in the world. Okay, let's see if this works. So you just might have, we might have found a bug in the system. I don't think it's supposed to require, um, I didn't mean to do that, that's some emerald. So we'll go to a system where we can get some. That looks like a green star. Okay, well, we're going to go there. And then we'll... We can't pull the freighter in here, because the freighter has no way of getting there, but we can move our way on. And hopefully we get some storage augmentation for the ship. Okay. Visited a green star. Okay, so see, it worked. Whew. That would have been annoying. Uh, super critical gamma root. That's pretty far away. This one has emerald on it. And salvageable scrap, which means we're probably going to have some trouble down there. That's okay. Let's go up there. I like going up there instead. Now, there's no space station in this system, it looks like, so we're on our own. Okay, and we're looking for emerald deposits. Let's go this way. We're not going to find anything. I don't know why I'm scanning. Uh, that looks like a pretty large area. What do you think? Okay, blue flowers. Things are starting to chunk load, if you will. Okay, let's land. See what we can find. Drop. Good grief. Let's find the, the animals while we're here. How many we got on this planet? Nine. That's possibly doable. Uh, what's that? Curious deposits. Hmm. Uh, careful hunter. Hmm. You may have to be careful. There we go. We got a deposit over there. It's ammonia. Okay. Ammonia. Uh, ammonia. Come on now. I'd love to get the curious deposits. We do have the power to get it. Okay. Let's go for the curious deposit for now. guarantee us some are underground. I think is where one of these creatures were, but I don't know. We'll see. Hey! Another flying creature. Okay, well, let's take a look. That's six of nine. How many more can we get? Underwater, underwater, underwater. Oh, we're getting lucky. They're all underwater, and we got a lot of water nearby. We can get lucky with this. Let's take a look at the curious deposits. Why do we want that? Um, Again, I'm sure all of you are familiar with playing the game. For some of you who are fairly new to it, curious deposits are very handy. They, if you can process them in your refiner, and you can gather them up, they will give you nanites. And it's not much of a cost basis. Well, you're not attacking, so that's good. God, that's a weird-looking creature, isn't he? Huh. What am I making a pet out of that guy? 
Oh, wow. Wow, this is a good one. Look at that. Alright. Here we go. Oh, you kidding me? I thought I had an advanced mining laser on my multi-tool. Alright, we need carbon. I need two wiring looms. Of course I do. I got one wire loom out of that. Oh well. Uh, okay. I guess we'll hold off on that. I really, really wanted that too. That sucks. Okay. Yeah, that was a waste of time. Sorry about that, folks. Hmm, that was a pretty good run back. Let's go get the next three, just because I want to, and then we got to look for the for the emerald. Okay. Okay, good. Ouch. That was a bit of a fall. Hey, look at this field, huh? I wonder how much sodium I've got now. This is a big field. Okay. Good gravy. Wish I could find a uh, oxygen field like this. All right, I think 500 of it is enough, don't you? Okay, that's enough. Okay. Two. And there's the third one. And you know what that is. That's it. So we got them all, which means we get 2250. Awesome. All right. So we're done with that. Back to this. So we're on phase two. We have completed that. 800 nanites. Good. Needed that. Storage augmentation times two and a band hyperdrive upgrade. Which we can't use because we don't have enough room in our inventory. But we got two storage modules, so that'll help a lot. Okay, so we're in good shape. Let's get the last one, which is the main reward, which gets us the poster plans for all three areas. So that's good. So phase two is now complete officially all right we need to get to the third rendezvous but we need emerald so let's take another look see if we can find some around here ammonia we are actually going to have to take off and go someplace else i think all right let's just bring the ship over i'm not going to waste any time Quietest ship ever. Okay. I'm gonna go somewhere else. Wham. I was wondering if it would hit or not. Sometimes it self-adjusts and pushes you up a little bit. Let's just go over here. Again, we, I would really like to find some emerald. Take a look. Come on, drop down. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Cobalt. Uh, Cobalt. Seriously.
But something tells me we're going to need it on the ship, so we might as well get it. And that way we can get this done. All right. So let's keep up a running commentary going right now. So we'll tell some nice stories. So we uh, had a nice vacation. I guess it's no harm in telling you that we spent some time in Orlando. No, we didn't go to Disney World. That's what everybody usually asks when you say Orlando. But no, we didn't go to Disney World. But we did spend some time. About time. There we go. We did spend some time at a nice resort. Um... I mean, everything didn't go perfectly smooth, uh, but you, you learn, some of us, some of us learn over time that, you know, uh, a bad day at a resort is uh, better than a, you know, great day at work. So, honestly, I have no complaints. Um, things happen. You know, that's the way this works out. And it turns out the room that they had given us, this nice townhouse that we were staying in, it ended up flooding in the middle of the night. Not in the middle of the night, I'm sorry, in the middle of my shower, actually, in the morning. It turns out the water heater, uh, the line from the water heater to the shower had a leak in it and had flooded most of our room. So we had to get re-roomed. Um, it was not ideal. It wasted a few hours of our time in the resort for the course of three or four days. So it really didn't kill us. You know, honestly, it wasn't a bad experience. The guy came and apologized. Uh, his manager came and apologized. Their manager came and apologized. They talked about the fact that the room had had a problem earlier, but they thought the problem was fixed. Um, and it turns out that the guy was really upset with a third-party contract that they had hired to come in to do the work. And, you know, frankly, our company does work with some third-party contractors that I'm not too pleased with most of the time. Um, it depends upon their ethics. And I notice that a lot of work ethics these days seem to go sideways when it comes to how much money can I make in regards to will anybody notice or ever complain about the shoddy job that I did. So, you know, just one of those things that I think is getting worse as time goes by. You know, the quality of everything keeps going down and down and down, so... It is what it is. Uh, that's a decent amount. I would really like to have more. I hate to be greedy, but I'm not trying to be greedy. So, you know, all in all, it was still a good time. You know, yeah, they have a nice pool set up there. The couple of really decent pools. Some of them, you know... Uh, what they call a zero line pool so they you know you can wade right in from a splash at the feet um, straight into the pool it's really nice and they had a nice lazy river that ran through it it was heated so I mean granted it was 80 degrees in Florida at the time but in beautiful weather we had beautiful beautiful weather the whole time um, you know the blue herons were, were walking around and hollering and stuff like that which you know if you've ever seen a blue heron before or actually, those are sandhill cranes that I'm thinking. I'm sorry. Sandhill cranes were there, which are protected species and all that. And these are big birds. All right, they're, they're close to six feet tall when they're walking around. They look like really large storks and have very loud voices. Very large wingspans as well. Oh, this is a huge deposit. Good grief. All right, we're going to get some good out of this. I'd like to get about a 1,000 all total if we can because we're going to need some. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the birds were just hooting and hollering on the golf courses and stuff like that. There was a, uh, I don't know which tee it was, but there was one of the golf tees was literally right outside our um, room. So you could just walk out back, sit on the porch, and make fun of the golf. I mean, uh, watch the golfers tee off. So that was really nice. And, again, the weather was, was perfect and beautiful the whole time. We had a nice uh, pizza place nearby that uh, has excellent pizza. Um, we have uh, plenty of, re of restaurants around us. We had plenty of grocery stores around us. So everything was very, very convenient. The drive was smooth. Yes, we drove to Florida and back from where we live uh, 850 miles. So uh, about 1,700 round trip all total. And it was uneventful. We had a blast. Kids, I think, had a good time as well. And it made for, uh, you know, 
a nice family vacation to get away with for a few days. You know, I'll see some relatives, see some of my uh, friends that I haven't seen in a long time up in, uh, from New York. So that was kind of nice. But, you know, it's the way things go. You know, not everything's going to be perfect, and, you know, things could be so much better. I think of people around the world that don't have the ability to do the things that we can do. Um, you know, which is a shame. It really is. It, it's nothing that can be handled by, I think, man in this system of things, but uh, the system that we live in. But it, it's nothing I'm going to really discuss at this particular time. That's that's a discussion for another channel at another time and another place. Uh, how much do we got? 800. Let's get 200 more and then we're out of here. This is a huge deposit, like I said, so this is good. So I'll get up to 500 on my meter there. Alright, we're well just about 400. Oh, okay, we finally broke through, huh? Okay, come on. Alright, how are we doing? Nope, 1,000. That should be enough. Okay. Our ship. Their ship. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Not used to humans around here, right? Well, then again, I'm not human, am I? I think he's a Viking, if I remember correctly. All right. Biff. Uh. Okay, there we go. I would call the ship over, but, you know, I wasn't really that terribly far away. Okay, so we're in good shape here. Um, let's get the Emerald over to the ship. Uh, I'd stop at the space station, but we have not. So, blasting off, we're going to head towards our next point in space, which should hopefully not be an Emerald system. Okay. Should have enough charge left for one more jump. There it is. Looks like it is. Looks like a yellow star, so we can call the freighter in and we can upgrade everybody. Okay. Excuse me there. Hydration is important. We hear that on his channel. Okay. How are we doing? All right. Verdant Platin again. High Sentinel activity. Okay, good. Uh, so, let's call in the freighter first. And we're going to land. While we're landing, let's take a look here. So, we want to get rid of this. Um, I'm going to dismantle it because that's going to give me some parts back. And what we're going to put here is not the cadmium drive. We have the emerald drive already. We need an indium drive. We need more wiring looms, so we'll at least get the emerald put in. Okay. And let's do this to the freighter. Yeah, I know it's my capital ship. You've landed on your capital ship. No kidding. It does state a lot of the obvious. So, uh, base parts upgrades... Okay, that's going to take eight frigate modules to get, which we happen to have. So we have the solar mirrors and the white piper core to do it. So let's go ahead and get on the freighter, and we're going to upgrade the hyperdrive. So this is warp core resonant. Okay, so it just gives an increase of 200 light years. This gives us 50, but it gives us what we're looking for. Okay. So we're done there. 
Let's go to the exosuit, actually, Starship. We're going to transfer the Emerald to the freighter and the Cadmium to the freighter. Okay. I think that should do it. Right? Yeah, I think we're good. We need more wiring looms, so we're going to go to the space station real quick. Why? I thought I did that already. I must have forgot to do that. Shell greaser, huh? I need this. I need ionized cobalt. That's why I need 40 of it. Okay. Yeah, I forgot all about that. You're all probably laughing at me about that one. Let's go to the space station and get a few more things. I probably could have gotten it from that pilot. Any more pilots in here? No? Okay. Space station, here we come. We gotta go there anyway, so we might as well. Okay, where are you? Down below. Alright. Uh, let's see. Oriented correctly. Alright. So this is good. So we'll be able to get more of our expedition done here. Again, I love this expedition, though. There's so much to it. Upgrade ship. Yay, finally. Okay, so we obviously need it in the technology area, so that's where we're going to be putting it. Um, yeah, actually, I do want one up there. Thank you. Um, how much are the upgrades? I think they're expensive, are they not? Yeah, 14 million just to get a storage spot. Never mind. What? So I've been here before? Hmm, I don't remember coming here. Oh, interesting. Does that mean... Pulse engine. Photon cannon. Well, I don't want to upgrade anything from there right now. Uh, so let's go get, we need ionized cobalt, 40 of it, and we need some more wiring looms. Uh, cobalt. Let's get, yeah, that sounds good. It's a million, but hey, you know, we got the money we can burn. Uh, okay, now we need ionized cobalt. Somebody out there's got to have some. I could have just gotten some cobalt now that I think about it. Eh, whatever. If this guy has it, we're in good shape. He's got cobalt. We'll probably take that. Yeah, let's just take some cobalt from him. Uh, we'll need 80. Whoa, okay. Only problem with using the computer, right? Cobalt. Okay, come back to that in a second. Okay, let's get the hyperdrive mod module installed. What is that going to get us? 100% warp efficiency. Yay. Doesn't help me any. What does it want me to install? Why? Oh, yeah. Bye. We don't need to locate that anymore. We're done with that. So, back to the expedition. We're in phase... Three, so we're going to get to the third rendezvous. That's where our next point is. Okay. Uh, anything else? Let's go ahead and get these upgrades installed. Okay. So now we have an indium drive. We can go to Blue Stellar Bodies. That will get that completed. Um, I'm going to see if we have any hyperspace upgrades. I don't think we did because we really need we need to extend the distance on this thing. It's getting ridiculous. I don't recall them having it. I don't think they did. Photon cannon. Pulse engine is all they have. Do they even have an A class? No. Not even a B class. Uh, okay. I think we went backwards. I think that's what happened. Okay. Let's get the shell greaser fixed real fast. 
Uh, oh, that's right. We just needed to make that first. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's just glitchy, glitchy, glitchy all over the place. I'm doing really good today, aren't I? There we go. All right. And the damage potential just went to, up to almost 10,000. So, not bad. Okay. Hyperdrive. We need to upgrade it. Okay. Or, not upgrade it. Charge it. That's what we needed to do. Alright. So, where's our path? I'm going to go here first. Stop at the space station, see if we can find a, a, a hyperdrive upgrade. It'd be really nice if we can get a couple hundred light years extra out of this. And then we'll move on. Now, just because we didn't go to Disney World when we went to Orlando doesn't mean we don't like Disney World. So, you know, to be clear that I used to live in Florida at one time and those Florida resident passes, man, are just awesome. Did we just go to a system that doesn't have anything in it? Eh. Annoying. Eh. Yeah, red stellar body. Okay. There we go. Let's go to rendezvous three. Now, what we should have been able to do here, because we accidentally visited a pirate system, we were supposed to install a uh, combat scanner. And I usually do that on the ship. We're running out of room on the ship to install anything, so we're having a little trouble there. So as we get a little bit higher up in here, and once we get some more storage augments, I'm going to go ahead and install uh, the combat scanner and the economy scanners. Okay, there we go. Off to here. Oh, hello. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I have no idea what he said. The transmission fuse static. One thing is unmistakable. The life form is in great distress. The request needs a set of coordinates. Input the set of coordinates. Point to a nearby planet. Okay. Very sweet. Planet in distress. Oh, God. Is that what I think it is? Uh, that's so you can get a town. We don't need that. Okay. So you can get your own town and all that. On the Switch, you can't do that. But on this, you can. And it's cool, but not necessary right now for what we're trying to do. Okay, so we're going to land here. So this was an interesting episode that we've had so far. Um, you saw the difficulties that come up. The expeditions, when you don't have anybody else's guidance to follow them, you have to think. You have to think for yourself. you got to think outside the box, and you got to be able to recognize the fact that the whole purpose behind this is so that you don't have to ask questions of everybody else. Okay, you may not have a, a friend of yours that plays it that's nearby that you can call on the phone or text or something like that and say, hey, you know, how do I do this? Um, it's out of the box thinking, people. Uh, creative thinking, you have to th be able to figure things out. It's nice to be able to have someone who can help you out and give you what you need and the answers you need. But keep in mind that the whole purpose behind a lot of these is so you can explore on your own and you can enjoy this. So no hyperdrive modules. Not even an A-class one. I would have accepted an A-class one at this point. Okay. So let's go on to the... third rendezvous. Now, I anticipated that this was going to be... four episodes that I was going to do... in order to complete all five phases, like I did last time. But it seems to be getting to the point where... again, there's a lot of figuring out we're having to do... For a lot of these things so it's in it's good for us to be able to see how all these things work and it's taking a little bit longer to get through it all so i think it's making for a good run um another thing you want to do on the rendezvous is just to keep in mind watch for the communication beacons that you see on the left that is most likely where your actual rendezvous is let's get a little closer to the planet here so even though it says it's it's th within this vicinity, as you get closer to this one, you see that more communication beacons are popping up. Yeah, it's going to be right here. I'm going to try something. Viva la France. Uh 
Oh, oh God, yeah. Woof. Um, yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Here we are. So did we get it? I think we got it. Did we get it? Yep. Okay, we got it. All right. Expansion unit for a suit. Okay, good. More gold. Yay. I don't know why we need all that gold, but whatever. We'll just add it to the collection. All right. One boat drive. Guess I don't really need that. Let's put it in my starship anyway. Okay. Actually, switch those around. Okay. Good deal. Okay. So, this planet, I'm pretty sure has no water on it. So, we're going to go ahead and take off. First person. Let's look for some planets, shall we? What do we got there? That has water. Uh, let's see, activated copper. Oh, that's a heavy storm planet. What else we got just to play it safe? Because maybe we have something a little closer that's... No, it doesn't even look like it has water on it. Arctic. That looks like a big solid rock. Looks like there's a couple planets beyond him, or at least one over there. Space station's over there, too. Uh, cabled. Yeah, no, that's a special planet. All right, I think we found our planet. Let's just head there. Okay, so we got to deploy Nautilus and locate the final map fragment. Reach an ocean depth that's really deep. Let's seek the lost pilot, shall we? Because that's going to be the planet we need to go to. All right, I'm glad we didn't go too, too far. Oh, huh, really? Sub-Zero Planet is where we're headed. That's fascinating. Okay. So be it. So this one's going to run a little little over. We'll, we'll find the wreck, and then we'll call it. And we'll pick this up in the next episode, which I plan on recording right after this episode. Uh, I do want to get some dinner, though. I've got to get the kids some food and stuff like that, too, so we'll get that done. Hopefully, if things coming through okay, I'm going to try to keep up more running commentary in the future. Um, you know, my voice is going to wear out sooner or later, but, you know, you got to stay hydrated. It'll work better that way. Underwater wreck? With a question mark. Oh, interesting. So... But so far, I'm really appreciating the intricacies of this particular expedition, and I enjoyed it before when I played it the first time around and thought it was absolutely fabulous. The next one, again, it's in permadeath mode, so that's going to be really interesting. Um, had a lot of fun the first time around, but it was very difficult. I will fully admit that it was very difficult to figure out at first, and I ended up having to throw my hands up for just a second and say, okay, I need to give up for a minute. Wow. All right, oh, pull up. Let's see. Okay, what do we got? Underwater wreck. Uh, oh, it is water. Son of a gun. Okay, let's find some place to dock. Uh, let's see. That looks pretty good. Yeah, let's hit that one. Looks like there's a bunch of communication beacons on it. That's funny. <laughs> is, is it indeed? Well said, sir. Well said. Or miss. You know. Austin. Let's get some... see if people oh wow this is fantastic I, you know that's that's the whole thing these are these are people from all over earth 
Think about that. You know, what a community we've got here, folks. Really. Absolutely fabulous. Always brings joy to my heart. All right. So, so we need to... Obviously, we need to... Uh, yeah. Sorry, train of thought got lost for a second. So what we're needing to do is we really, really need to... Um, produce the Nautilin Chamber. So that's going to be number one. So let's see if we can build that right now. Uh, do we have all the components? We need salt. We already have the crystal sulfide, and we need five metal plates. Okay, I'm going to watch that in here in just a second. So let's get the five metal plates. We can do that real quick. So we have them. One, two, three, four, five. And we need to get salt. And that, guess what? We're going to get it from a plant. Uh, get it from one of these plants right here. Not that one. Not that one. About that one. High musical content. That's nice. I like to know about plants that have high musical content. It's so handy to have plants with high musical content. Get out of the way. Thank you. Salt. Okay. Nope. Don't want scatter blaster. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. They will attack. And they hurt. Okay. We can now build the chamber. Uh, anywhere we want. Okay, so guess what? We're now in the Exocraft, and we're... Okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I know there's no fuel in it. There we go. Thank you. Ah, what in the world was that all about? That was the weirdest thing in the world. All right, we're going to stay put. Uh, so what do we got here? So we're going to put you in a supercharged area so we can get a little more extra oomph out of you. We have to de deploy the how priority sonar uh, thingamawatsit. So let's put that in. I need one more crystal sulfide, and then you know the solar mirror. Of course I need a solar mirror. And I'm pretty sure I can't make those. I didn't think I ever learned it. Oh, you're a pain in the neck. What was using a solar mirror? Hold on. I had something that used a solar mirror. Let's find it, shall we? Is it you? I'm pretty sure it was. And it just put it in the ship. <sighs> All right. We'll get closer to the ship. Have it now. Do we have it now? Thank you. All right, now we need a crystal sulfide. Cargo drop. No, we don't want a cargo drop. So we headed out this way. I want to find the platform again. Sorry about the noise from this thing. Is this that my platform? Yes, it is. Why do I want to find the platform? Because we can delete it and get all the parts back. And that gets our crystal sulfide. 
So we don't really need it right now. Let's go over here. Come on. Okay, we get more if we need it later. Okay, so let's go to our... Let's collect our reward. Okay, marine shelter. I don't think we really need that, but that's nice to know we have that. Living pearls and oxygen. Oh, good, we needed oxygen. Nice. Okay. Okay, good. I want to put that back. Okay. So what do we want? We have to find the last pilot, right? To do that, go back to the log. We're going too far, too fast. Blah, blah, blah. Left on search, every deck, and return to mission. So last known coordinates of the pilot starship. It's not telling us where it is, right? So what we have to do is we have to engage our high-powered sonar. So what are we looking for? Let's be clear. What we're looking for is the pilot who left in search of something. So we need to find the pilot's starship. So that's what we're looking for. Let's be clear. Very good. Looking for a drowned starship. Where? 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 Over there. Looks like it's right here. Literally. Wow, that took a while. Now, because we don't have multiplayer turned on, we can take the ship if we want. Hi, Dad. Hi. Good to see you, too. Uh, only a smattering of clips in the final recordings are intelligible. Oh, no, the secret using portals that just retrude off this galaxy, going to take the treasure back, exploit their network. So, town, I found a fragment of familiar looking star chart. Take the map. That's number three. Okay. So, C-Class ship, doesn't look like there's anything really worth it on this ship. It says it's worth $5.8 million. We're probably going to get about one out of it. But what we may get out of it, if we sell it, if we might get a storage augmentation. So I'm going to go ahead and claim it and repair it. And we should be able to get the pure ferrite, the dihydrogen jelly, the metal plate, and the hermetic seal. Let's do the hermetic seal now. Go ahead and get this one done. And dihydrogen jelly we can do pretty easily. We'll have to make the pure ferrite. Uh, where'd you go? There you are. Uh, ferrite dust. We need how much? 50? So we'll go ahead and get that. All right, and we're coming to the close of our recording here. I know this one went a little bit longer. There we go. So we don't have to worry about the Nautilin chamber because we will get a new one later. All we have to do is build another platform and we can build we can get a Nautilin chamber. And we just call it. Uh, that was weird. Uh, okay. A little bit wonky there. Sorry. Yeah, I don't like the way these things look. Good grief. A lot of, di well, a lot of dads, apparently. Uh, uh, why not? Nope, not trading. Bye. Okay, come on. Are we not headed towards it again? No, I don't think we are. Pain in the neck. I swear I'm not stopping for those traders anymore. One problem flying without shields is if you get attacked. 
And we do need two more pirates, so there's a possibility we could get attacked by pirates at some point. But I expect that we're going to have one more battle that we're going to hit in the next episode. So, here we go. Sorry about the whining. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we'll sell the ship off. We have enough inventory space in my exosuit, right? Incorrect. I may not have enough room in my exosuit. I don't need any more salt, though, do I? I kind of do. And I have chromatic metal in here that I didn't need. Crap. What's this? All right, we can do that. And... Okay, we'll think about it. We don't need any of those living pearls. I'll probably sell those. Let's upgrade real fast. Um, yeah, that looks good. Let's see if we can sell it. I don't think we can. Yeah, 300,000. Uh, 900,000, pardon me. Hey, it worked. Okay. We're going to get rid of the drive, hyperdrive, and pulse engine. I know, I got rid of a hyperdrive, but it's going to give us like 50 light years, and it's just not worth it. Hey, buddy. Got some stuff to sell you. So I'm going to get rid of those living pearls. It, sound, it looks like I didn't need them after all. Uh, keep the crystal sulfides. Uh, what else we got in here? I'll keep the chromatic metal because we needed it. Metal plates we can get rid of. And receptive circuitry and the spool nano cables for the selling of the ship. Okay. Ah, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's a B class. It's not bad. Okay. Let's transfer the stuff over to my other inventory. This goes in there. That's going to go in there. I'll put this down here. This goes over there. Okay. Looks like we're in good shape. So I think we are all set. Put this over here. It'll have better effect on that. And we have all three maps. Where's the other map? There's all three. Okay, we'll keep those and hang on to them in case I need them. Okay. Any more to get? We collect this reward. The last piece, we get uh, almost 5,000 nanites. Nice. An expansion unit times three. And... We didn't get to the ocean depths. Okay, we should do that real quick and acquire an aquatic treasure. Right, I'll do that on the next episode. Um, then after that, we're going to finish out this one. We'll hit the fourth rendezvous. We'll visit the Blue Star and follow the pirate map right after that. So this, we should be able to complete out three, four, and looks like it's even possible we'll get all five. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to call this uh, a night uh, on this one, and I'll try to record another episode later on. So we'll release this later on this evening. Um, it is Saturday, um, and then hopefully we'll have one more to release uh, before I run to, the, run to bed tonight. Uh, and watch for another episode tomorrow. I'm going to plan to do a No Man's Sky 101 episode in the morning on Sunday morning, and I'll release that in its uh, entirety. Now, as the new expedition, since, since I'm going to be done with this expedition, what I'm probably going to do in the upcoming weeks is I'm going to do a couple more of the 101 videos, and I'll do a couple other videos as well to fill in the gaps. I may be doing a permadeath run and stuff like that. So uh, stay tuned. Keep an eye open on the, uh, uh, on the channel. I uh, appreciate you all watching. Again, uh, constructive criticism is always welcome in the comments section. Uh, appreciate a like. That would be really helpful. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your neighbors. Um, and, uh, you know, as always, I appreciate everything you all do. Uh, kindness, never criticize kindness, and always be truthful, especially to yourself. Thank you very much for watching, folks.